Howdy, y'all, and a hearty welcome to the Thrift Store Rundown's great performances on a budget. Celebrating the soundtracks of the stage and screen without spending a lot of silver dollars in the process. Now, you know by watching the preview show that the majority of this miniseries, which lasts the entire weekend, is all film score soundtrack reviews. Plus, a TV show soundtrack review, just to throw you a little curveball for the young adults in our crowd. But by now, you know it's a running gag that every new miniseries I do has to include at least one cookbook related to the subject of the miniseries. And believe you me, this is it. This is the zenith right here. It's not the zenith of celebrity cookbooks because it has its imperfections, kind of like the people who are subjects of breakup songs in the ever so popular, ever so timeless genre of music known as country music. Music that speaks to your achy, breaky heart. Well, today, we're going to flip the switch and highlight some recipes in here from some of those country stars that could and should speak to your aching stomach. Or better yet, sing to your aching stomach. I'm about to give you the diss on Hazel's Hot Diss. Cooking with Country Stars. Hazel and country music stars sharing their food, faith, and a whole lot of fun. If you're not familiar with the late Hazel Smith, she was one of America's foremost country music journalists. In fact, she won one of the most prestigious accolades in the field, the 1999 Media Achievement Award from the Country Music Association, CMA, a dear friend and confidant on the scene. I picked this cookbook up for $2.99, and as you'll see, Hazel sings quite a beautiful tune in the kitchen, with more than just a little bit of help from her friends in country music, of course. Now, I'm not saying that this is going to take you straight to the Grand Ole Opry or the Wyman Auditorium or whatever hallowed music ground in any southern part of the country, because, well, this doesn't contain a greatest hit CD or anything like that. So, talk this up as a greatest hits collection of family recipes passed down from generations from the majority of these country music stars. However, for this review, if you'll allow me the pleasure, I want to emphasize the word hot in Hazel's Hot Disc. As we go forward with highlighting some of the recipes in here, you can figure out the one common denominator that's going to tie all of them together. That definitely puts the hot in Hot Disc. You might judge me for it negatively, but you know what? Country music isn't my forte, so uh, I'm prepared for your comments. And with that, let's get started with Terry Cluck and her truffle-wrapped cherries. Now, on the right for every right page of this book, you have here a series of labels that indicate which recipe belongs in which label. So here we have appetizer, salad, soup, Entree, side dish, bread, and dessert. So here we have truffle wrapped cherries for dessert. You'll see this uh, label timeline here for every recipe here on the right side of this book. Truffle wrapped cherries. And it's pretty simple. Whipping cream, butter, sugar, and semi-sweet chocolate. Plus chocolate coating. No actual truffles in here. Although a very nice hybrid of the two. You see here, Terry Clark? She's actually of Canadian descent. But, with songs like Better Things To Do and You're Easy On The Eyes, well, she's easy on anybody's eyes. Even mine. So too is the recipe photograph in here. There is not a recipe photograph for every recipe in here, but the ones that do incorporate photographs alongside make this book look even more delicious. Next up, the Kinley Twins, Jennifer and Hedda Kinley, and their chicken wrap. No photograph in here, but you know what? The photos of the twins, definitely more to make up for that. Their debut Sony album is called Just Between You and Me, and according to Hazel, it made quite a splash for the Philadelphia natives. So yes, they're of the East Coast, but they definitely do their country proud with their offerings. This is an entree, by the way, as so highlighted on the right. 
Next up is C Daisy as Hazel Robux. They're not a traditional trio by any stretch of the imagination. These girls can sing. Cassidy, Kristen, and Kelsey. And I gotta concur, Hazel. They really are drop dead gorgeous. According to Hazel, the sister in the middle with the Elvis black hair, lead singer Cassidy. Sassy redhead, the one who is married, boo, and can cook, woo! That would be Kelsey, my favorite, the hottest of the trio. And the svelte blonde, Kristen. The Osborne sisters of C. Daisy contribute peppermint brownie sandwiches and Jiffy bread snacks. This being a dessert, this being in the bread category here. No photos of either recipe, but you know what? These two other photos of C. Daisy with Hazel Smith more than make up for that. Next up, a woman who, in my judgment, belongs in the grand old Opry of hotness. Shaylee Tennyson. With hits like, Go Back and Someone Else's Turn to Cry, and hits like Chicken Spaghetti and Hot Cabbage Slaw. Well, I gotta tell ya, C, I think, outdoes all of the other relatively noteworthy country music stars that I'm highlighting here. You might have a few of your favorites if you already own this book, but I have to say, this photo right here is extremely reminiscent of Rachel Lee Cook and C's All That. And ahead of time, I'll tell you, yes, one artist, and I might get a content ID claim for it, but I don't care because the following song, a short snippet of it anyway, definitely encapsulates my feelings for Sally Tennyson. Kiss me out of the beard Absolutely. And this just accentuates it all right here. Of course, I'm highlighting the relatively noteworthy country music stars, but it wouldn't be fair if I didn't highlight at least one legend in here, and that would be, yep, peekaboo, Sanaya Twain. She cooks up a potato roast for this cookbook, but you know what? She's cooking up some mighty for Wilson's feelings in my heart right now. Oi, country music. Even with me, you can always, always have an effect on achy, breaking hearts, and even hearts that are fully mended. It's hard to argue with her music video for Man, I Feel Like a Woman. Let's go, go. Smoke it hot! This is a side disc, by the way. Finally, oh, and by the way, she contributes this recipe from Switzerland. We have here a father-daughter-son trio called the Wilkinsons. They have such hits like Jimmy's Got a Girlfriend and uh, 26 Cents. Their CDs, Nothing But Love and Here and Now. The former being the debut album, latter second album. So here we have Steve, the songwriter, Tyler, the son, and Amanda, the daughter. A woman with movie star appeal, both in looks and in vocals, and all three of them with major appeal in the kitchen. Dessert, banana cake with Royal York dressing. This retails, by the way, for $16.95 here in the U.S., and as far as I'm concerned, there's no Canadian retail price, which is an insult, by the way, for Terry Clark's uh, country of origin. I'd also be remiss if I didn't mention other luminaries in the country music field contributing recipes in here like Goth Brooks, Vince Skill, Reba McIntyre, Brad Paisley, and even Riders in the Sky. Now I know you remember Riders in the Sky. Hello, Woody's Roundup from Toy Story 2, which automatically is my favorite. We also have John Michael Montgomery. Oh, hello, Shaylee. And Patty Page. Something for every taste bud, and of course, for every discerning taste in music. A recipe index featuring all the appetizers, salad soups, entrees, side dishes, breads, and desserts to be found here at the end of the book, along with more acknowledgments. Oh, and as for you, Martina McBride, listen up, darling. 
Although I'm not reviewing it for this mini-series because that would be too easy. Your book around the table will be under review under my desk lamp in the near future. Bargain ball of a lot. Recipes and inspiration for gatherings throughout the year. So, in the very near future, on this channel, here comes McBride! In the meantime, four and a half out of five claps. This, as the cover would indicate, is real hat so quality, thanks in large part to the recipes, and of course in no small part, according to this review, to some of the women that you and I wouldn't mind getting hitched to in the near future. Just don't go doing them wrong. Otherwise, you might become the subject of the next Billboard Hot 100 Country Breakup Anthem. A fate no worse than death. Nevertheless, Hazel, may you rest in delicious peace. This puts the ye in the ha, folks. Buy it. And you'll see and taste what I mean. Thanks for watching and listening. I'll catch y'all on the thrift side.